There we go. Hi, Peter Charles here, Fooked Fly Fly Fishing. And today let's look at a video on uh, Euro nymphing for smallmouth. But in this case, it wasn't at all that successful. And I think we often learn more from trips that are less successful than the ones that we do really well. We start to figure out why did we not do well. Now, part of the problem was I was using my uh, G. Loomis so Euro nymphing 28, but I was using my standard bass bug flies bass flies I should say. Now a lot of these are weighted, they've got lead, some of them have cones, some of them have cones and lead, but they're also big and high drag. Now big is good for smallmouth, but when you're casting um, these kinds of flies on a regular fly line, like a six weight or seven weight bass line, they go fine, no problem. When you're trying to cast it on a urinymphing rod where you don't have the weight of the fly line working for you, the drag starts to work against you. So let's look what happened in this particular video. Uh, I didn't do that well. I, got, I hooked some fish and uh, I landed some fish, but it wasn't one of those great days. And there was a strong downstream wind. So let's see what was happening in that wind. Now this is slow-mo, just so you can see what was going on. I started to make my upstream cast because you want the flies well upstream of you and a strong gust of wind just blew them right back downstream again. So what I had to do is pick it up and you know put them back out again and hopefully the wind didn't kick them back downstream. So this is what I did here. Now that time I got them out. So what was going on here is that the flies had a lot of drag which presented two problems. Pushing them against the wind was difficult and also when the wind blew them downstream, because of the drag, they don't sink super fast. So as a consequence, if they start downstream, then they have a very short window where they're going to be presenting in the, in the zone of the fish. And that's what was happening. I was getting a few hits and a few fish, but it wasn't an outstanding day. And I fished some really productive water with not much in the way of results. I mean, this guy got off. Um, but I went right back out and I picked up another one. Uh, but I was having to work for every fish because the flies weren't getting down because the drifts were too short because the wind was blowing it all downstream. And the tr trick here is to have bass flies that uh, are designed to be used on uranymphing, not flies that are designed to be cast with the fly line. Uh, and that's the bottom line here. I have to redesign my flies to work with uranymphing uh, gear. Otherwise, I'm going to be running into this problem constantly. As soon as there's some wind, I won't be able to get the flies out there. They won't go upstream, and then my drift is too short, and uh, I don't catch fish. So what we're going to look at is uh, we're going to do a, some flies uh, uh, over the next few weeks, and we're going to go fishing again with these flies, and hopefully do an awful lot better because they will be designed to be cast on a urinymphing rod and not designed to be cast with a fly line. And it does make a difference. So stay tuned to the next series. Cheers.